During this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create your own whimsical sparkling fish. Inside the kit, you'll receive the tips and techniques, also an example of other painting party kits that are available and free online tutorials at my website, nettieprice.com. You'll get a sparkling mini magnet, an eight x 10 canvas board with a black line already painted, paint pots consisting of two white, one yellow, one red, one blue, and sparkles, along with a paintbrush. You'll get a paper plate, a paper towel, and you'll need a cup of water. Now one thing that's not included in the kit is a black Sharpie marker. Now I use this when the painting is completely dry and at the end to touch up the black. You can use a fine tip, a regular tip, um, any kind of black marker or a black pen that you may have um, around the house. So with that, let's get started. We're gonna start the fish painting with white and we're gonna start in the center of the eye. Now remember, in order to cover the black line, you have to add white to whatever color you choose. So in order to start with the eye, we're just gonna dip it in the white and make a circle. Now we don't have to color cover all of the black line, just some of it, and make a circle. Now we're gonna do a couple layers, so we'll just let that one go. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the face and the body. And if you notice, the fish is blue and yellow and green. So we have to mix green, and I wanna get some white on my palette. I'll do a couple scoops of white. Nice big scoops. I'm gonna get some yellow. And some blue. I'm gonna try to get that yellow off of there and then get some blue. And we'll get two of those. What we're gonna do is make some green. So yellow and blue make green. We wanna add some white to that. And we're gonna start with the fish's lips. Now the line is nice and thick, so it'll give us room to kind of shape the way the fish looks. So I'm gonna come out, up the forehead, and down the side. Now I wanna leave the middle of the fish lips separate with the black line, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna mix some green, and now this lip is gonna come down, and there we go. I'm gonna come down around the gills. Whoop. And then fill in around the eye. I wanna cut it in nice and close. And in the jaw of the fish. I'm gonna add some more yellow. Now I wanna leave the gill black. I don't want to paint over that. So I'm going to come around and see how I'm mixing the paint on the canvas. And now I'm going to come around and just do the body. Getting the white, the yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna do the fins. And the fins, I'm gonna use the side of the brush. I'm going to create within the black shape. I'm not covering all the black. I'm coming around leaving a black stripe in between. And now I'm going to do the top little fins. And the bottom. 
One, two, three. And I'm going to do the same thing. For the tail. Notice I'm going in the blue and then the yellow. Now I'm just going to leave it like that. The next part is to do the scales and the scales are going to be pretty easy. All I'm going to do is a kind of like a draping curve. Then I'm going to go with white and yellow and above it and do another line, draping curve. And then I'm going to get blue and white and do a draping curve all the way through the fish and alternate yellow and white and then blue and white. And you can do multiple layers of this so that it really shows. There we go. All right, I'm going to give you some time to work on this by yourselves. So I'm going to stop the video and you can continue to develop your fins and your scales. The next segment, we're going to work on the water. Now the water is going to be a combination of blue, white, and red. And then above the water, I chose to make it a light reddish pink. Now you can pick whatever color you choose. Um, that's just the color combinations that I liked. So I'm going to take some more blue, put it onto my palette. I'm gonna use some of that white and I'm gonna put some more white on. And then I wanna get a little bit of red. So I'll put that right here, clean off the brush, and get some more white. Okay, now what I want to do is mostly blue and white with just a touch of red, and I'm going to cut in the black line really close. We went from a nice thick black line, now we're going to a, a very thin black line. Now if you lose the black line, don't worry, that's what the Sharpie marker is for when we're all done. I want to use nice big brush strokes and alternate my colors. I'm going from blue to white. We get a little bit of red in there come around the back of the fin. And go all the way around the fish. I'm gonna touch a little bit of red, blue and white. Really let the brush strokes create interest. I'll just pick up my canvas a little bit. Side. Use lots of paint. There's plenty of paint here. pretty that purple is. And get some more. So I'm going to stop the video 
And what you can do is finish going around the entire fish and we want to do the top of all the way to the top of the waves. So fill in through here, take your time, get it nice and close to the black line and I will see you soon. Okay, the next step after we finish filling in the blue sea is to do another layer on the eye. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in the white paint. We don't have to do the entire eye, just this, this center portion. And now I want to do the top of the, the air above the water. It's going to be a light pink. And you can pick, you know, whatever color. So I have some red. I'm going to get some more of the white out. And I'm just going to dip it in the pink. Now I want to really mix it on the canvas. And I want to cut in the line really close. Let the paint mix on the canvas. I like to paint abstractly, where you just mix the color and see what happens. We have to get a little bit more white. I'm just going to dip it in there. Another highlight of yellow, so I want to clean up my brush, get the paint off, dip it in the water, and just take straight yellow. And I want to do a highlight, just a light highlight on the fins in yellow. center the same down here and I'm going to come along the jaw with the gill and along the outside rim of his eye now another thing that I want to do is to really highlight The suggestion of the scales. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back in and do the eye. Okay, so I cleaned my brush out and now I want to make a dark color black to um, do the pupil of the eye. So I'm just going to take some red. Actually, I do have red right there. I do have yellow. I want to take red, yellow, and blue and mix it all together. And it's going to make like a dark gray. Actually, going to clean off the brush part and use the back part of the paintbrush. Get a whole bunch on there, and then swirly, swirly. There we go. And we're making the pupil, and we can touch this up with a black sharpie marker. I just want to get a layer of paint on there.
We are on the final stages of the painting. It's completely dry, dry to the touch. And what I'm going to do is use the Sharpie marker to touch up any of the black line that I may have lost along the way. So I'm going to just come in here um, around the gill, maybe touch up around the eye. I can make a nice circle around the pupil. I'm going to give eyelashes to my fish. So one, two, three, four. Go around the side of the eye. I think that's really cute. Tighten it up on the fin. You know, wherever you feel that you um, want to make it just look a little bit tighter. So that's all we really have to do with the black marker or the Sharpie. And then with the sparkles and the fish, you just paint it on like paint. I personally paint the whole fish because I love a sparkly fish. So I just put it on there and you can do a couple layers of sparkle if you'd like to. Or you could just do the thin. It's really up to you. Whatever you decide. I'm going to paint on the sparkle. Okay, well that's about it for this painting. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please email me at nettie at nettieprice.com. You can visit my website at nettieprice.com or post a picture of your finished painting on my Facebook page at Nettie Price Sparkling Art. Thank you so much for joining me and have fun. Bye.